Hi everybody. Um, I'm just kind of slowing down today and not really wanting to hook him up to the wagon. Kind of you take one step forward and two steps back in training and kind of do refreshers. And I accidentally put some treats in my pocket and he knows it. He's been a pain in the butt ever since. He's not done one good thing since I put the treats in my pocket. Except for give me lovin's. But anyway, I'm going to work on uh, some like uh, commands, mainly stand and stand still, because that's very important once we get in the shafts. And these treats are gonna be pulling him from where I'm telling him to stand. So that's kind of a good distraction to have. And how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna tell him to stand the same way each time, and if he moves, I'm gonna make him move his feet and kinda make him realize that I don't like when he moves his, uh, when he moves out of the place I tell him to stand. So, I'll try to get him, oh boy, I'm going to get him someplace where I'm set up for success. So like right here, over there there's hay on the ground. He can't hardly stand it because he's always so hungry. <laughs> Back up. Back up. Oh boy. There, all four feet are square, and he's in a good place where he can see what I'm going to be doing. Whoa, stand. So right now I'm not going to care if he moves his head up and down, which I would rather him stand with his head up. So I'm just going to fidget his attack. Ah, ah. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Whoa, stand. And that wasn't bad enough to where I really got after him. That was just a short correction, like a first chance. The second one will be more. On a correction, you have to raise the level of stimulation to match the horse. Oliver is a very calm and dull-natured horse, so I have to act pretty aggressive. But if you're doing it without a temper, it's fine. And I'm not mad at him. He's just a baby trying to learn this for the first time. But the exercise is to make it harder for him to move than it is for him to stand still and then wait for that to click in his brain. Right about now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of armchair experts that say I'm not saying stand the same way each time. Horses are more intelligent than people give them credit for. So as long as I'm doing it approximately the same way, it will work. Oh, look at that good boy. It's starting to click in his mind. Yielding a hip and backing up are both essential skills that draft horses need to learn, but they're unnatural and difficult movements for a big clunky boy like that, which makes them good ways of correcting a mistake that he would make. So you make them do those skills and make them move their feet, and then you put them back into the command, and if they do it right, they get a release, and if they do it wrong, they have to work again. Yeah, he, uh... Very food motivated guy. Most food motivated horse I've ever seen. Well, he was very hungry a few months ago. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> hey, there, Stan. <laughs> he's so distracted. He's just a little boy, but he still needs to learn. Okay, that was pretty good. Ah, I was just.
just about to give him a treat and he moved his, uh -uh. moved his foot. Back up. Back up. Ooh, stand. <clears throat> ah. Wait. Stand. Okay, you're in trouble again. Yeah. I might have to get a flag or something because he's so chill he doesn't really care when I'm trying to correct him. He is intelligent though. Don't let the uh, dull reactions fool you. He is one of the smarter horses I've worked with. But I seem Back. to see that as a trend Back. in stallions. For some Back. reason, being a stallion just seems to make them more intelligent, in my opinion, than if you geld them. <laughs> and if I'm just consistent with that long enough, he'll learn to stand ground tied for a long time. And then I have to find time to be patient with him when I'm in the cart and make him just stand there for a long time too. Like work him maybe a mile and then tell him to stand and just get on YouTube or something for a while. <laughs> Teach him to stand long periods at a time. Stand. Okay. He might not want to stand now that I gave him a treat. Stand. Be like, I know what he's got in his pockets. It's so good. <laughs> Hey JR, what's in your pocket? <laughs> Cannot. Treats are the wrong answer with this dude. I thought you had stopped giving it to him. I have. Well, he's got training going on. I have, but I just wanted to be friendly with him tonight. What about this pocket, JR? What's in this pocket? No. no. Damn. He's starting to stand good. Even right here, when he moves that foot, you can tell by his body language, if you know what you're looking at, that he knows it's the wrong thing, and then he moves it backwards. It's really starting to click in his brain. I don't normally train him with treats, but like I said, I've been working him pretty consistent, pretty hard. And this day was kind of a rehearsal day or go backwards day. And I'm just trying to make it more fun for him than an actual training day. figure eights on, I'll set up some obstacle courses for him. I'm gonna move him 
And uh, then tell him to stand again. Whoa. Stand. When trying to teach one to ground tie, if they are doing well, it's important that you be the one to move them and not push that time frame too long that they move on their own. That way, it's kind of like I talk about training gates. If they start doing the trot you want, well, then you ask them to walk before they lose that trot or vice versa. get a lot of comments from a lot of non-horse people about asking why I don't go bitless. But if you look at the creation of a horse and the, the design that God put into them, there is a literal bit seat, a gap between their incisors and their molars that has no teeth in it. It's pretty clear that that is made with the design for them to have a bit in their mouth. First is the first thought I have. Secondly, this is a stallion and you need to be able to have con control over him in case a mare that would be in season would happen to get out while you're driving. You need to be able to hold him because I promise you, you're not strong enough to hold a stallion bitless if something would go wrong. I'm not completely against bitless riding on very and broke, right gentle, non-gated horses. However, it's just not my thing. Be interesting to see if he's booger. Oh, I'll let you get ahead of me. Be interesting to see if he boogers at him because he's never seen them either. Oh yeah, he hasn't. Back up. Are you ready for the cones? Back up. Every time I use my commands, I have to explain or else I'll get a bunch of comments. I know it's G and Haw, but it's my horse and I chose to use a way and come by because I train border collies and that's just what I wanted to do. Do I get a treat? Oh, stand there. Good boy. Oh, he thinks he deserves it. Well, one. he did pretty good there. Stand there. He did a spook and you went around each one, huh? That was really good. Is that me? No, we didn't run into any of them either. No, the bit in his mouth is a three part like bit with a part roller part. in the middle of it, allowing a lot of tongue movement and allowing him to take treats while I'm working him. And that's because of that gap in their teeth that I was talking about earlier that they're able to chew and have movement in their mouth while uh, in bridle. Back, back, walk. All right, this time I'm not gonna let him pick a pattern. I'll just go at random and go around one. Come 
mistake I make quite often is that once I have a horse riding or pulling, I don't go and rehearse little skills like this. And it's very important that you don't just go one direction in your training, but you do little rehearsals and fine tune skills like this. He didn't woe as fast as I would have liked, and that's why I'm backing him up to the spot where I first said woe. Good job. Oh. Oh, stand. Stand back. 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 There. Stand. Darn treats. Back up. Oh, stand, stand. Ah. Poor little guy just really wants to be with me, or at least he wants to be closer to his treats. Here I come, Emery. Take my picture. tried to do any steering while backing. Mm -hmm. Very That's first hard. try. Very first try at that, wasn't it, bud? Good job, Oliver. Isn't he handsome in his overalls? I mean, harness. Ooh. you're um, teaching him this. I think they thought you were going to ride him before you would teach him this. Uh, I'm, this will build his muscles really fast and make him hit a growth spurt so he's strong for carrying me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm doing this first. Quit, man. Black. Tomorrow there will be no treats. It just causes nothing but trouble. I've always been a trainer that was kind of anti-treat, except for at the very end of a lesson. If a horse was good, I'd always give him a treat. But uh, this dude is so treat motivated. It's just distraction. 
Like somebody starved you or something, bud. <laughs> what? He says they did. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't this, like the driving and pulling, doesn't that teach him to steer for you too? Yeah. Like really, I mean, better? Yeah. And honestly, you usually you, teach a young horse the other driving. thing too is like my rib from breaking it this spring yeah it hurts so bad to ride even the smooth gated horses that i can't ride for more than about 10 20 minutes at a time so i'm just not very motivated to riding because i'm hurting still whenever i ride and he is going to be twice as bad as a gated horse because he's so rough okay tell everybody goodbye oliver time for dinner huh Goodbye, everybody. Please subscribe. I don't know. I think riding him would be fun. But he's got a lot. I mean, we have all the time in the world. There's no hurry. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he was a good boy. You're so lovable. Yeah, you're so lovable. Okay. All right, back up, and I'll give you the last treat. Back. <laughs> back. Anti-treat, huh? Back. Back up. Hey, back. Back. I was wanting to do it without touching it. Back. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's the last one. All gone.